Well, you just heard the do's of buying fish from the fish store. In other words, you just heard what to do when buying a fish from the new fish store. Now I'm here to tell you what not to do when buying fish from the fish store or what you should not do or what you don't do when buying a new fish from the fish store. So let's start it, folks. Don't let the employee sweet talk you. Now I know it's going to happen at most Petco's and pet smarts, sometimes their fish store. Most of their employees at these pet stores and fish stores are going to sweet talk you into buying more fish so they can get more money and more profit. And I know at some of these fish stores, the more money that they sell or the more fish they sell, it gets more pay in their paycheck. So don't let them sweet talk you. Now, I went to Petco one day, I think it was the Petco in Holyoke, and I was buying some feeders for my Oscars, which I know is the worst thing to do, but um, I had one of the they had no more feeder guppies, so I got feeder comments, so it's the last time I'll ever do that. And um, I bought a, a fire mouse for my brother, and the guy was in there sweet talking to me. You know, a Jack Dempsey can go at your fire mouse, a comic sickle can go at your fire mouse, a common plucko can go at your fire mouse, uh, a green chair can go at your fire mouse, one of these Oscars can go at your fire mouse. Oh. <laughs> That's how he was, really, too. He would, he would go over and point out to the fish what can you want a fire mouse. I'm not stupid. I know what can you want a fire mouse. And I, I was laughing the whole time because it's pathetic how much money he was trying to sell in one day just on fish. So it really was funny. But it's how some of those stores are. So don't let the employee sweet talk you into buying more fish because, um, you don't know if you can care for the fish they're selling because there might be different fish that cannot uh, cooperate with your other fish. All right, let's talk about another thing you should not do when buying a fish. Do not let the employee bag more than three fish per bag, unless they're small swimming fish like neons, rumminos, cardinals, or any of the smaller tetras. Do not let the employee bag more than three fish per fish bag because it's going to create more ammonia in the bag, and the fish will be more stressed because there is more fish with them than there needs to be. So don't let the fish store employee bag more than three fish per bag. This is a common sense one. Don't buy from a tank where there is dead, sick, or inactive fish. All right. Now, obviously, for the catfish tank, the catfish are going to be inactive. But for other fish, like Oscar, Cichlid, Tetras, Goldfish, Silver Dollars, etc., don't buy fish from a tank where there are dead, sick, or inactive fish. Common sense. Because you buy a, a fish with a dead fish or a sick fish in here, 95.999999% chance that your fish are going to get sick. So don't do that to avoid illness in your tank. Don't buy fish at the spur of a moment without doing research first because who knows you could be buying a red tail catfish and eight months later he's this big. So don't buy fish without doing research first. Alright and the last thing don't pour water from the fish bag into your aquarium because your water is going to be very different. The water from the fish store inside the bag it's going to be very different because it's going to have high ammonia from stress. And the water in your tank is going to be very different because you have different water. So the best thing to do is to accumulate or acclimate your fish. Then open the bag up and slowly and surely take a net and scoop the fish out softly and place them into your aquarium. Alright? And now my last thing I want to talk about. Don't buy fish and then go shopping and do errands because you don't want the fish thing in the bag for a long time. It adds more stress. Okay, here's a good example. Let's say your wife or your son or your daughter had surgery. And you're going to say to them, okay, after the surgery, when they come out of the surgery, you're going to say to them, okay, we have to go food shopping and we have to go uh, pick up our laundry. And they're going to look at you and say, are you effing kidding me? I just had surgery. Well, that's how fish feel when they're in a bag for a long time. So my best bet is to do your grocery shopping and your laundry or your chores first. And then go get your fish. Alright, because it's always better to do that. I would not want to be a fish sitting in a bag for more than an hour. Alright, because they're going to crap a lot. So get the fish last. Alright. Or do the shopping first and then get the fish. Because they don't want to swim in a bag for a long time. Alright. 
Well, I hope you found this video funny, because I did. And I hope you know what not to do when buying a fish from the fish store. Have any suggestions or comments? Post them below in the comment description or the comment section. I want to hear your thoughts on what, what not to do buying fish. Rate, comment, subscribe to this video. And of course, watch the video. I know what I'm doing.